Okay, people, time for me to make a video here. I haven't done one in a while, and I'm going to address this. By the way, this is the Desert Shaman. I'm going to address the situation with uh, the movement called Q. Um, it seems to be a big thing now, and a lot of people that are so-called patriots are uh, gathering behind this uh, movement. And... Um, this is the way I see it. Uh, as far as gathering behind a movement goes and uh, Q or these people that call themselves Q or Q Anon uh, offered a way for people to gather and uh, maybe uh, glean some information that they didn't have before uh, about what's going on with the deep state and Trump and all this stuff. My view on this is that's all you should use it for. Uh, use it to gather and to uh, congregate and to uh, be able to band together into some kind of discernible movement against the deep state. Now, as far as Trump having something to do with Q, uh, I doubt it. And uh, let me tell you how these people work, these people that are QAnon or Q Anonymous. They're computer geeks, okay? And they're computer geeks to the highest degree. And they use algorithms uh, because a lot of people were saying, well, a lot of the stuff that uh, has come true that uh, this QAnon has been saying and it corresponds with... Uh, Twitter, uh, Trump's uh, uh, tw uh, twi tweeting out, tweetering out, or whatever you want to say, uh, using Twitter, and then uh, supposedly they had foreknowledge of this and foreknowledge of that. Let me tell you how these people work. They use algorithms, and they use, uh, they're just like that person Cliff High. They can use computers to almost predict the future and see what's coming, okay? Um... You don't need Q to tell you what's going on. All you got to do is use your own common sense and your own intel and look at what the fuck's going on in the country and look what needs to be done and stay on top of it. I've been on top of it for quite some time and I don't look at what Q says. I look at what Trump does. Okay. Now, it's, it's all well and good that uh, you got all these people that are banding together and uh, want to do something about what's going on in the country and want to do something about what's going on in the deep state. And uh, that's a good thing. I mean, as long as people can wake up uh, to some type of thing like that, that's a good thing and band together. And, and I've been saying this for ages. I've been saying, uh, I've been telling people to wake the hell up for ages. Now it seems like this Q, and maybe that's all it's good for. Maybe that's, but see, even then, okay, now I went on a board called the CBTS board, Calm Before the Storm. Supposedly what this is about is Trump's going to uh, take down all the pedophiles and he's going to take down the deep state and he's going to take down Hillary and he's going to take down uh, Podesta and he's going to take down all these freaks that are out there, uh, Soros, that are trying to destroy America and that are trying to destroy us. I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it, okay? When I start seeing arrests... When I start seeing people being put in jail, when I uh, hear uh, Trump uh, come on national TV and uh, give an address to the nation and say, well, you know what, uh, they have tried to take down the sovereignty of this country and they have attacked my presidency and they're trying to take me down and this is a major coup. Uh, and I've arrested this person and that person and this person and that person and on and on and on. And when I see them uh, in handcuffs uh, being thrown into the back of a paddy wagon or whatever, then I'll believe it, okay? But until then, I'm not going to fucking believe a thing, okay? And I would advise you to do 
the same. You don't need Q or you don't need a group of anonymous people telling you uh, what's going on or what to expect. Uh, oh, this person uh, is probably being arrested and sent to Guantanamo. And uh, this person, uh, why? Because uh, we're following these airplanes and the tail numbers are blocked out on Radar 24. And guess what, people? They do that all the time with government airplanes. And some, com uh, not commercial, uh, some private airplanes, corporate airplanes, request that their tail numbers be blocked out. How do I know this? Because I'm a pilot. That's how I know it. So they'll, they'll uh, reach out and stretch out and say, oh, this means this and this means that. And it might not mean that at all. So let's not give people false hope, okay? The only hope that you can uh, count on or the only thing that you can count on is when you see things. Believe it when you see it, okay? Otherwise, it could be a total black ops uh, prop propaganda situation. This whole Q thing could be a, a, a total uh, fiasco or black ops situation. Now, black is white, white is black. Remember, I've told you that so many times. So you don't want to put your faith into and you don't want to put a lot of time into trying to figure out the little puzzles that these computer geeks are putting out there, okay? And that's what they are. They're hackers and computer geeks. Now, are they for the good? Are they trying to uh, create a good, uh, good thing? Well, that remains to be seen. But so far, now I've went on this board that was uh, put up by Tracy Beans or was recommended by Tracy Beans, who is kind of a leader in this Q movement or was. Uh, but now there's dissension in the ranks. Anyway, I went, I went on the board and uh, I made a very lucid, uh, legitimate, uh, hopeful comment for the people that were going on there searching for some kind of hope that this shit's going to end. And when I did that, I immediately got attacked by uh, the so-called uh, official four channers or eight channers or whatever they are and these computer geeks saying that I was pontificating and uh, that I shouldn't have been saying what I was saying when I was offering hope for the people that came on there and encouraging those that were waking up uh, they didn't like it the geeks didn't like it because uh, the attention was being taken away from them and their stupid little fucking puzzle that they play with. Now, again, some of these people might have good intentions. Some of these people might just be wanting to uh, try to uh, institute a movement, okay, of hope. But why would they do that then? Why would they attack people uh, when uh, they're coming on there for hopeful things and posting... Uh, Things like pictures of George Washington and stuff like that. Uh, the original founding father um, of this country called America. Of course, you know my viewpoint on that being Native American is that uh, they weren't the original founding fathers at all. And sometimes I look at this whole thing and I laugh because it's a circus and I'm thinking, look at the mess these white eyes have gotten themselves into where they're fighting each other, they're turning on each other, they don't know how to be warriors. Plain and simple, they don't know how to be warriors. You don't need to go on and uh, tune into some uh, movement, okay, on YouTube. Uh, that's not being a warrior. Being a warrior is strapping on this right here onto your back and going out and getting proficient with it so that when the shit hits the fan, you and your family can protect yourself. That's what being a warrior is. Or that you can help protect others. And that's the way it should be. So people are all getting caught up in this old QAnon and uh, let's go to the CBTS board and let's follow it and 
it sure gives us hope that uh, someday something is going to happen here and uh, we're all going to be safe and uh, the evil uh, the evil doers are going to be overthrown um, again believe it when you see it when you start seeing things that uh, indicate that that's happening then you can believe it and when you start seeing things uh, that presidents say <clears throat> like Trump who made millions of fucking promises and hasn't kept one okay maybe one or two but the major promises like uh, trying to make peace with Russia and uh, not uh, not 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 thinking that the Crimea thing was uh, a big deal uh, and also the thing about uh, how about the thing with uh, he was going to back off on any kind of uh, criminalization of marijuana and yet what does he do he hires some idiot like Jeff Sessions this says it's like heroin uh, just on and on and on with things that uh, I had hoped okay that he would uh, fulfill Okay, we don't need empty promises like Obama gave us with change you can believe in. And now it's make America great again. Like I said in one of my last videos, America isn't that great and hasn't ever been. You can't put your faith in men, okay? You can't put your faith in uh, politicians. You can't put your faith in uh, presidents, okay? The only way that uh, these people are going to do something is if masses of people unite. It's, see, people are too used to giving their power to uh, other things. They're too used to giving their power to the government, to uh, presidents, to uh, political parties, to religions. They give their power away. Uh, they think that all these people are going to make them happy. They're going to bring about some kind of change. They're going to stand up for people's rights. What is the history? Do you see that anywhere? Do you did, Have you ever seen that that has happened uh, in this country? So basically what it is, the people that are in power, the people that really have the power, are we the people, okay? We the people. Or the people of the country. Or the people of the land. Are the ones that really have the power okay when you give it to other people you give your power away and they fuck you over so we wouldn't need to have all this uh, queuing on and hoping uh, hoping here and following this and following that it's like a it's like a circus okay now again I'm saying if any uh, good can come out of this Q movement I'm all for it if it bands people together but what people really should be doing is using that Q for question okay use that uh, use that to mean question use that to mean question authority question anything you see that sounds good because remember these people these dark, uh, deep state people are proficient and uh, very uh, good at uh, using uh, deceptive tactics. So you should be suspicious of anything like QAnon. Well, Q anonymous. what does that tell you? Well, we're not really going to tell you our real name and we're not really going to tell you what we do. But we're connected with Trump, honest we are. And we have an inside uh, attack on what's going on. And uh, we know that there's indictments coming down. And uh, we know that there's going to be arrests being made. Blah, bitty, blah, blah, blah. Okay? We all know that anyway. Anybody that has any kind of intel base, anybody that's on top of it, anybody that's a strategist, knows this shit anyway. Knows that there's indictments. Knows that... Uh, there's hanky panky going on with the uh, FBI and Mueller and Sessions and how about the Las Vegas shootings? That's all been covered up too. What's Trump said about that? Uh, what has he done about that to expose the truth? So don't put your faith in this shit. 
Put your faith in yourself. Put your faith in this back here, okay? Put your faith in uh, your own spirituality. Let's not leave that out. Let's not leave your own spirituality out. Let's not leave uh, you preparing, okay, for uh, whatever eventuality might come about. None of us are going to be here forever. We're all going to go sometime. It's just a matter of when. But while we're here, um, the best you can do is protect your family, protect your own ass, maybe protect a uh, form a, a vigilance committee or a uh, an action committee in your own community with your own friends so that you can uh, help each other. But don't put faith in... Uh, things that you can't uh, verify okay and if you're uh, following little puzzles and little games and uh, let's look here and let's look there and let's try to decipher that's a big distraction people really it's a big distraction from what's going on what you can see with your own two eyes okay you have to have eyes on okay and that means having eyes on what's real and not what isn't real. Speaking of that, while I'm on here, I notice that there's a lot of chemtrails in the sky lately, and uh, it's increasing. And if people really want to be aware of something, uh, look at look at what's right in front of your own eyes. Just take a look up in the skies and watch all the chemicals being sprayed on us. So yeah, I mean it's it's way overdue to take these people out, to take the deep state out, to take them uh, and to hold people's feet to the fire that are supposedly our representatives uh, looking out for our best interests. So that's all I have to say about that. Uh, until next time, this is Thunder over and out.